Welcome to another GNU Cash Quick Start Tutorial. I'm Laura from the BusyBeePost.com and I'm here to show newbies how to get the most out of free GNU Cash accounting software for their small business bookkeeping needs. If you like my tutorials and find them helpful, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and it encourages me to keep producing videos if I know they're helping. A thumbs up is icing on the cake. Check out my description for helpful information about my tutorials. Let's begin. In today's tutorial, I will be talking about how to manage a business credit card account in GNU Cash. The first thing you need to do is to create the credit card accounts you will use to track your credit card transactions. There are two different ways you can create a new account in GNU Cash. One way is to click on the credit card account under the Liabilities account to select it. Then select New on the toolbar. Or you can right click on the account and when the menu opens, select New Account. When the New Account dialog box opens, enter a name in the Name field and enter a description in the Description field. Then select OK. Here I have the newly created account. You can create as many different credit card accounts that you need to keep track of. Here you see we are starting out with a zero balance. Before you can begin tracking your credit card transactions, you need the ending balance from your last month's credit card statement. You will use this information to enter the opening balance into the credit card account register to assure your records will balance. You only need to enter the opening balance once for each new credit card account you create. In the credit card account register, in the first field, the present date is entered by default, modified as needed. In the num field, you can enter a number if it applies to this transaction. In the next field, you can enter a description. In the transfer field, since you're entering your opening balance, select the equity opening balance account. In the charge field, enter the ending balance amount you still owe the credit card company. Then select enter on the toolbar to record the transaction and save to save the changes. Now looking at the chart of accounts, you should see the new opening balance. Here I see the $125 I entered in the charge field. The next thing you need to do is to create expense accounts for each type of purchase you make with a credit card. In this example, under the Expenses category, I created a new subcategory and I named it Credit Card Expenses. So I can see exactly how much I am spending on each transaction and the total cost. Under that account, I created the credit card expenses I want to keep track of, such as transportation, entertainment, decorations, and travel expenses. And I also set up extra accounts for interest fees the credit card company charges on monthly unpaid balances and any additional fees, including service charge fees, that may apply. Now the initial setup is complete. Now that everything is set up, it's time to enter your credit card purchases. It's a good idea to enter your credit card purchases on a regular basis to ensure your records will be accurate it comes time to verify your credit card statement matches your entries into GNU Cash. Let's begin. On January 26, using my credit card, I purchased some wall pictures for the office, totaling $60. If you have more than one credit card account set up, make sure you're entering the information in the correct credit card account register. In the date field, modify the date as needed. Enter a description in the description field and any detailed information you want to remember about this transaction. In the transfer field, select the expense account you created for this purchase expense. Here, I selected decorations since that's the account I set up for this expense transaction. In the charge field, enter the cost of the purchase. Then select enter and save on the toolbar. In this next step, I will show you how to handle credit card refunds. The first thing is when you return something you purchased with a credit card back to the store, the store will issue a refund back to your credit card account. A common mistake is to enter a credit card refund into GNU Cash as income. It is not income, but rather a negative expense. For example, I added a second charge to my credit card account of $45 for some more decorations, we'll say. 
but later decided to return the decorations back to the store. Now, once you receive a refund, you need to reverse that transaction, assuming you recorded the original purchase transaction as a transfer from the credit card account to the expense account, which is how we've been entering it so far. Now, you have to transfer the money back from the expense account to the credit card account. Okay, let's see how that works. Here I have the original $45 charge and my credit card balance is $230 before the refund. To enter the refund, it is important that you enter the refund transaction into the same credit card account register that was used for the original purchase. This is only a concern if you have more than one credit card account set up. In the first field, modify the data as needed. In the description field, enter a description. In the transfer field, select the same expense account you originally entered the expense into. In this example, I use the decoration expense account. Enter the original amount of the refund purchase in the payment field to reverse the transaction. Then select enter and save on the toolbar. The reverse transaction decreases both the expense account balance and the credit card account balance owed. Now, instead of $230 balance, the balance has decreased by the $45 refund. The new balance of $185, as shown here, confirms the refund has been entered successfully. Now, once your credit card statement arrives, you need to enter any additional credit card fees as stated on the statement, which increases the amount you owe. For example, my February credit card statement is in with all the January purchases plus an additional $5 interest fee the credit card company charges for January's unpaid balance. To enter any additional fees charged on your new monthly statement, enter the date in the date field and a description. In the transfer field, select the expense account for this fee that you created to assign to this transaction. In this example, I would select the interest fees expense account I set up to keep track of the interest fees I am paying. In the charge field, enter the amount. Then select enter and save on the toolbar. Since I just added an additional $5 interest fee, my ending balance is now $190. Step 6. Reconciling the credit card account. Now that all the month's charges and the additional fees and any refunds that apply have been entered into the credit card account register, it is time to verify the transactions on your new credit card statement are also the same transactions entered into the GNU Cash credit card account register. This verification process is known as reconciliation and it is the key to determine whether your records are accurate. During reconciliation, you will get more detailed information about your balance during the month and it points out any discrepancies. Let's begin. To reconcile the credit card account, right click on the account to open up the menu and select reconcile. You can change the statement date if you need to by clicking on the drop down arrow. The starting balance will be zero if this is the first time you are reconciling the account. My ending balance shows an ending balance of $190, which is correct. There's no need to enter any interest fees here if you already have an interest expense account set up that you use to enter interest fees. You can select OK to finish up and close out the dialog box. On the reconciliation screen that opens, it displays the ending balance of $190 here on the bottom of the screen. And the difference is $190 because nothing has been reconciled yet. In the Funds In, Funds Out Reconciliation panes, here you will check off each transaction in the account as you confirm that the transaction appears in both your GNU Cash account and on your credit card statement. I see the refund and the starting balance and all the other transactions I entered. As long as you entered all your transactions correctly as confirmed by your credit card statement, the difference in amounts as shown on the bottom of the screen should now display a zero balance. If everything checks out, select Reconcile Selection on the toolbar and then Finish. If for some reason you don't have a zero balance, you may have missed a transaction that shows on the statement but has not been entered into GNU Cash. 
in that case you need to find the missing transaction and go back and enter it into the credit card account register you can select the postpone button on the toolbar so you can continue at a later stage if you don't see the postpone button it may be hidden click on the drop down arrow on the toolbar to see the hidden functions once you select finish on the toolbar the transfer fund screen opens here you have the option of entering a payment to your credit card account from your checking account if you like. I will briefly go over how to use this screen to enter payment information. And I will also show you how to enter your payment information directly into the credit card account register. Since you may not necessarily want to enter information about a payment right after you reconcile the account due to the fact that you may not have made a payment as yet. Here in the amount field, change it to the payment amount. In the date field, modify as needed. In the num field, you can enter a check number or any other number that applies to this transaction. In the description field, you can enter a description. You can also enter a note or memo. All the information entered here so far will be automatically entered in the appropriate fields in the account registers as listed below with the exception of the note fields and memo which will be entered where it applies. In the transfer from account select the asset bank account you will use to make a payment such as a checking account. In the transfer to account select the credit card account you want to record a payment to and select OK. Now if you don't plan to make a payment at this time you can select cancel. Cancel will only affect the transfer funds account. Back in the credit card account register, you should see a Y, which means yes, next to the transactions you reconciled. In this last step, we will enter a credit card payment directly into the credit card account register. In the first field, modify the date as needed. In the num field, you may want to enter a check number here you use to make the payment if it applies. Enter a description if you like. In the transfer field, select the account you want to use to make the payment. Enter the payment in the payment field and select enter and save on the toolbar. Here I entered a $50 payment and it reduced my new balance to only $140. Now you know how to manage a credit card account in GNU Cash. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section. If this video has been helpful, to you, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.